Good morning. I am uh, going to try a little something different today. I'm going to record an audio in lieu of a video and see how this works because this might be a little short. I realized last time we spoke that I uh, misrepresented to you about when the age of the Gentiles began. I believe I said it was um, 70 AD and that's incorrect. So I'm going to uh, just uh, tell you a little short um, description about the age of the Gentiles. This is very, very important. There's, uh, Christians know this with their Bible study. This takes up a lot of God's Word. <clears throat> Excuse me. In Luke 21, 24 says, And they will fall by the age, I'm sorry, by the edge of the sword and will be led captive into all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. This would be the period when the Jews no longer had control of their holy city, Jerusalem. The times of the Gentiles is that extended period in which the land given in covenant by God to Abraham and his descendants is occupied by Gentile powers and the Davidic throne is empty of any rightful heir in the Davidic line. The times of the Gentiles began with <clears throat> Nebuchadnezzar's invasion of Jerusalem in 605 BC and will continue until Jesus returns. The Apostle Paul attempted to explain this truth to the Gentiles in Romans 11, 25 through 27. For I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceits. That blindness, in part, is, has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And so all of Israel shall be saved, as it is written. They shall come out of, er, there shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. And this refers to the... Um, no, essentially just about the last day of tribulation when all of Israel is saved and Jesus does come back to defeat the Antichrist and uh, pull his uh, people out of the holy city and put them in protection for the final battle. So let me go on just a little bit here. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar began the exile of the Jews in three stages. At the end, Israel was left desolate and did not have full control of her temple or her nation. They were exiled to Babylon and they will remain in this state until Christ returns. This time is the uh, 70 weeks of Daniel, the 490 years, which does not include the time of the church, which no one knows of that time save God himself, but does include the seven years of tribulation. And so we'll end this uh, lesson here as I could go on and on. Um, this is really good stuff, people. I love it. Anyway, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for another day. We thank you for the weather and for uh, your hand of uh, preservation over all your creation. And especially, Father, we know that you say, that you do protect your own. And when I say protect, I know it's not to protect us from the world, Father. It is just to, uh, to let us uh, live in the world and uh, do as you want us to do. Help us to abide in you so that everything we do can go give glory, Father, to you and can help uh, anyone who is struggling from this horrible pandemic, Father. We just, uh, we just ask that you put your hand on them and we pray earnestly for their salvation, Father God. Be with us as uh, we go into the remaining time of this. We pray that it doesn't last long, but we give you glory in everything done, Father. In your Jesus' name, amen.